guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing another foundation review this actually just made it to my house yesterday so i haven't tried it i haven't really looked at it much but it is the new ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer as well as the hydrating primer and the hydrating setting mist so it's all three products that's in this pr package i'm going to be trying all three products for you guys in this this video and as always if you guys want to check out any ColourPop products can use my code 5 Taylor it's not an affiliate code or anything you guys can just get $5 off your purchase of $20 or more so this is the package with the products in it we have three shades in the tinted moisturizer the setting mist and the primer here so the shades that they sent out actually seem pretty perfect did a really good selection of the shades for me they sent dark 20 in dark 17 in and dark 19 in i said those totally out of order but <laughs> yeah so these are all neutral undertones which i'm excited about because i think since i have a tan i am more neutral than i am like yellow or warm or whatever and ignore this huge pimple on my face like that thing is ginormous this tinted moisturizer is oil free dermatologist tested gluten free silicone free paraben free and vegan it is skin perfecting lightweight coverage for fresh healthy looking skin and you can use the pretty fresh blending sponge or fingertips to lightly dab and blend to, into the skin so i'm going to use my fingers it's ideal for all skin types and the two ingredients that are i'm assuming the most important are hyaluronic acid which is known to hydrate and support healthy looking skin i'm reading exactly what's on the packaging and coconut water which is known to support hydration and skin softness so one thing that i was noticing like um when i was looking at trend moods instagram page you guys probably have heard of her she does like makeup news people were commenting that they are allergic to coconut so they're not sure if they will be able to use this so i wanted to mention that just in case you're allergic to coconut to be weary of this product i'm going to swatch all three shades on my face before we get started the packaging is really cute i really like the font of the name of it which is pretty fresh you get 1.45 fluid ounces which is a good amount more than what you would normally get you would normally get like one fluid ounce in a foundation so i'm going to start with 17 in so that's 17 in and i'm gonna leave it on for a little bit just to kind of see if it oxidizes at all so i'll be able to tell which one i want to go with 19 in i don't know if it's going to calm down a little bit but it looks like more on the yellower side than neutral but we'll see and then the last one is 20 in and 20 in kind of looks red there are 24 shades in this foundation and they come in neutral and warm undertones so if you have cool undertones this tinted moisturizer isn't going to satisfy that according to the way that they have named their shades but it's a chance that there might be some shades that might be more cool because i'm looking at this one that's supposed to be neutral and it kind of looks warm to me so you may still be able to find something for you even if you have cool undertones it's a sheer beautiful coverage it gives you healthy hydrated and fresh skin so i think i'm going to go with the darkest one and if necessary i will blend a little bit of 19 in on top if i feel like it needs to be lightened down a little bit but i'm going to go with 20 in all over the skin just because this one i feel like is blending in the most with my skin i do have a tan so this might work for me in the winter time but this is the closest to me right now at this moment and to go in with the primer now this is a hydrating primer as you guys know i do have oily skin but I want to try it with the primer and that's the color of the primer It's pretty much the same as what you see in the container and I just put a little bit because I'm only gonna do half my face oh it smells really good it smells like baby baby lotion I just applied a little bit more and it doesn't feel overly hydrating it's almost like how you would feel on maybe like a smoothing primer so i like that but we will see if it does any smoothing or anything like that now i'm going to go in with the shade 20 in and i applied a little bit to my fingers i'm gonna work it in kind of press it all over 
this is so weird using my fingers definitely need more bringing this up underneath my eyes to cover there as well it did give like slight coverage I applied it to both sides of course the side that I applied the hydrating primer on is a bit more dewy in a sense than the non prime side. I like the finish of it, it isn't too in your face. It doesn't really even look like I applied anything, if I'm being honest. I kinda wanna build up on my blemish area. It doesn't really look that much different than before I built it up, but I think the tinted moisturizer looks exactly like a tinted moisturizer. It isn't like super heavy on the cover, so if you do have imperfections that you want to cover, you may not get to do that with this, but that's for any tinted moisturizer or most tinted moisturizers. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will come back to show you guys the finished look. I'm really glad that I went with the shade 20 in because it looks pretty perfect. I don't feel like I need to apply any of 19 in so it looks really nice if we're similar shades right now as far as like with our tan then dark 20 in is the perfect shade so like I said I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back So I finished the rest of my makeup and it is 11 a.m. So it might not be portraying it on camera because I do have on highlights, but my face looks really dry to me. Like it doesn't look like it has life. And the only reason why I'm feeling like it should be doing that is because it is more of a like, I don't know, everything is just hydrating. The hyaluronic tinted moisturizer, which all of this is supposed to hydrate and support healthy looking skin and just everything, the hydrating primer and so I'm going to spray the hydrating setting mist now and hopefully that helps it. But I would expect that the tinted moisturizer would be dewy. But like if I move, there's basically no shine to the tinted moisturizer anywhere. <laughs> Which I'm not saying is a total bad thing because I have oily skin and I absolutely love products that don't make me more oily. But I'm just thinking everything about this product and the primer and everything points towards like you would think it would give you maybe dewy, hydrated looking skin. But so far I have not gotten that. I don't know if it has anything to do with, I did use the color pop setting powder and that may have mattified it but I only applied it in the areas that my concealer was but even like down here that's why I'm focusing down here because even there it doesn't look like super hydrated or anything like that but I'm going to spray the hyaluronic acid setting mist which again hyaluronic acid is different than how the name would suggest it isn't like acid in a sense that it will burn your skin hyaluronic acid helps with the hydration so it's a good ingredient I am gonna do a few test sprays oh I like that mist okay let's see Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll see. It was a super, super fine mist though, so I really like that. So it's all dried now, the um, setting spray that I just used. And it might have helped like very little, but it still looks dry to me. It feels better because after I sprayed that, I realized that it also felt a little dry because once that dried, it doesn't feel like how it felt before I applied that. So I don't know, it's a good thing for me, but I know if you guys are reading the info about this product you might be thinking it's is going to be super dewy but it isn't like that for me so yeah I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day I actually have high hopes that I won't get super oily with this because of how it doesn't feel dewy or hydrating or anything like that so stay tuned to see how it wears the rest of the day and yeah let's get this day started <laughs> Hey guys, it is 2.45 p.m. and I've had the foundation on for I think, I kind of forgot what time that I put it on, but I think it's been four hours and I am oily, like all over and you can see right here from where my sunglasses were that the foundation has come off so it isn't like um, transfer proof even though like a lot of the foundations do come off in the area, I feel like it's come off more than normal especially on this side on the non-prime side on the prime side it has stayed on more as far as where I had my sunglasses 
so the primer does help with like the transferring when it comes to the sunglasses i am super oily you can definitely see it all around my nose area and for four hours i feel like that's a small little window but it is a tinted moisturizer so i do have to keep that in mind definitely looks less dry than it originally did when i first apply it of course because i'm oily but i will keep you guys updated throughout the rest of the day so you guys can see how it wears but i'm predicting it's going to get more oily <laughs> hi guys so different outfits and my lipstick is gone <laughs> but it is 6 45 p.m almost it's almost been i think if i remember the time correctly it may be pushing nine hours but we're just gonna go with eight hours i am pretty oily on both sides as you guys can see and on my forehead and my smile lines are creased as well this kind of doesn't happen that often but i feel like more bumps have appeared on my face as the day progressed like on my chin these weren't here those three right there and this one that's really the main place because i was already broken out on my forehead pretty bad but yeah i don't know if it has anything to do with the tinted moisturizer but i did want to point that out i do think that this product is not long wearing especially if you have oily skin and you live in a hot area like i do um, i think it was probably heat index of 104 105 today so pretty hot and humid so that's something to keep in mind if you live in that area we are going into fall and winter months so it might wear a lot better on me as we get into those months so i definitely will be trying it again and probably with a different primer if i'm going from prime to non-prime side the prime side is less oily than the non-prime side you can kind of see a huge difference or at least i can right over in here versus over here it's just a little bit so that's something as well i'm thinking if i use like a mattifying primer that's oil free that it will work really well with this tinted moisturizer but i did get creases in my smell lines on both the primed and non-prime sides so it doesn't prevent it from that. All right, so flashback. I just tested it in a regular lit room with the lights on. No flashback. When I turned the lights off, no flashback. So pretty perfect on that end. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about this foundation, well, tinted moisturizer. Let me know what you guys think about this product down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe before you leave as well as thumbs up this video. It really helps me out. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.